right, another day, another dollar, folks. Heading into the office. I got a jam-packed day today. A jam-packed day today. My day is going to be filled with meetings nonstop. And after work, I got some YouTube activities. Uh, I got invited to a YouTube event, so I'm gonna be heading there. It's one of them days. And it's a Wednesday. Just trying to get over the hump. Sweet about me, a lot of sour. So, on busy days like this, I typically don't eat breakfast first, especially when I come in a little bit earlier. It's like 8 30 right now. So, typically, check my emails, try to get started on a day quickly, and then I go downstairs and get some breakfast. So it just depends on like how my day looks sometimes. Depends on like what I do first. So let me see how many meetings I have today. Okay, so I have a meeting at 9.30, 10 o'clock, 10.30, 11 o'clock, uh, 11.30 to about 12.15, a break, 12.30 to 1 o'clock. Then I'm gonna go to lunch. And then I have a meeting, meetings from 2 o'clock to 4.30. And then I have to head to this YouTube screening for the Bob Marley um, One Love movie. So they're having like a, I think a private showing or something like that before it comes out. Then afterwards, it's a social at apartment 4B here in Atlanta. So like I said, it's going to be a busy day. Uh, I'm probably not going to get home to about 9, 10. So... You know, usually when I come in here, my boy Brandon is here before me, but they don't move my boy to another flow. Look at that. That man does clean. He gone. Usually they have the fruit station stocked up well. I don't know what happened this morning, but I wasn't able to get my mango. I was barely able to get some pineapple. Look at them. Still good though. candidate on my work phone and realize my work phone is dead. Dead. Was able to find some time to take a quick restroom break. I got roughly eight minutes to my next meeting and we gonna be back at it. Y'all see the fit? I love these New Balance 550s. You though know, they're not the most comfortable New Balance. New Balance has some comfortable shoes. But these 550s aren't the most comfortable. I'm here trying to find my meeting room. Sometimes I get lost. I'm already three minutes late because I can't find my meeting room. Sometimes I like going in these phone rooms when I know for sure I'll be on a call with candidates back to back to back. It gives me that soundproof noise reduction type vibe because sometimes I'm talking to candidates. I don't want candidates to feel like there's some distractions with noises in the back and things like that. And I'm a little out of breath because I take the stairs. So usually when I'm going to another floor, I take the stairs to get to... Wherever my destination is, I went from, just got done eating lunch, so I went from 18 to 24, taking the stairs, so. <sighs> Let me, before I get this, what was your side of the other, or are you kind of open to the Now I got two people to visit on the 25th floor. 
I'm gonna visit. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna visit both of y'all. What side on 24? I've been up there. No, 25. What side? I've been side up there 20? for a long time. You still haven't come yet. Now I got two people to visit, so I'm gonna go up there. Where the sign gonna be at? It hangs from the ceiling. You lie. I'm not lying. It says cloud sales. She lied, yo. It ain't got no cloud. Make sure you make sure you make sure you follow this up with a video of you going up there to see said sign. But they ain't give us no sign. So the reason why we have signs is because we have neighborhoods. You have an assigned desk, whereas I don't. I sit in a neighborhood. Oh, technically this is a neighborhood. If you think about it. No, because when they look you up in the system, you have an actual desk. I don't. Oh, okay. Let me see if Brandon got a desk. Nobody up there got a desk, huh? Mm -mm. Nobody has a desk. Mm -hmm. Damn, Brandon. You got downgraded. Damn. But anyway, this is Lauren, y'all. Hi, everyone. She say her team keep the lights going, and I say now nah, recruitment keep the lights going. Tell them why it keeps, and why my team over your team keeps the lights So going. she's on, what, save cloud sales? I work in cloud AI sales with specifically startups. And what do you do? So I recruit the people that need to go over there. So without us. So you spend money, whereas we make money. Who's spending money it over costs here? money to onboard somebody. It does. See how she spend that? <laughs> but in order for people to do the work, in order for them to make the money, yeah, somebody got to hire them. Yeah, but you got to spend money. So it sounds to me like your team is spending money, whereas my team is making money. I just settled yeah. this debate no, in that one no, line. No, no, no. <laughs> if it wasn't for recruitment, there, it wouldn't be no team. You wouldn't be here. You need a recruiter to you get say you that here. Like you recruited me. <laughs> I didn't, but you need a recruiter to get you here. So therefore, recruitment keeps the lights on, people. Sales date, y'all bringing some money. I can't lie, but both of us put together is what you know. Bring, bring, keep the lights on. I almost said something I didn't need to say. Go ahead, say it. Go ahead, say it. Who's getting laid off? Who getting laid off? Quiet. Not you. Not you. Oh, I'm about to say, dang. All I'm saying is. <laughs> They're not getting rid of salespeople, but they are getting rid of recruiters. Wow, you see, you see, she had to cut low, but, but below lucky, the belt. But lucky, she Corey, cut. Corey's role is so special that they keep him every time. My man been cleared every time because his role, you know, can't nobody else do it. Is it the role or is it me? I mean, you're the only one in your role at this point, I feel like. <laughs> She tried to cut below the belt to come back with some flowers. Y'all see how people do? Y'all see how people do you? They do you so dirty. We do need y'all. We do need y'all to be the well-oiled machine, but do you keep the lights on? No. But do you make sure that Google keeps going? Yes. Okay. We'll keep it at that then. We're going to see what the people say. Y'all leave a comment on what y'all think. <laughs> Who keeps the lights on in this mother? Y'all, when I say I am tired, your boy is tired. It is 426. Done with meetings. I still got this YouTube event to go to. The pop socket, but it's like a profile. You gotta find a way to make it easier for yourself, man. Cause the easier it is, the more you're gonna be willing to shoot. Exactly. Pulled up here in Atlantic Station, about to go into the Regal. I don't know if they gonna let me bring this camera in here because I've been having trouble with bringing cameras places these days. I don't know what's going on. And since it's a movie theater, who knows? But I'ma try. You know, I'm always the type of person where I'ma try, push the envelope a little bit, see what they allow. And then, you know, I go from there. Have me an energy drink because your boy been going. I've been going since 6.30 this morning. About 12 hours and still got some, um, still got some hours to go. Hopefully my phone lasts because I just noticed it's on 40%. Guys. The mood was pretty good. It took a while for it to start getting popping for me, but good symbolism showing how Bob Marley was all about peace, all about love, prosperity, and for the people, man. Now I gotta go listen to some Bob Marley this weekend. <laughs> It 
is 12.30 a.m. 12.30 a.m. I have been up since 6 o'clock. It's 12.30 a.m. I'm going to take a shower. And then it'll be close to 1 o'clock. Once I take that shower, try to go to sleep. Probably won't be to sleep till about 1.30. And then my alarm will wake me up at about 6 o'clock to go to the gym. And I will have to make an executive decision whether I will go to the gym or not. We'll see how that pans out. But thank y'all for watching this video. I appreciate y'all so much. The Bob Marley premiere was pretty cool. Um, great to see some creators. And also I met some, um, or I seen some creators that I haven't seen in a while since um, I was a part of the YouTube Black Voices Fund um, creator cohort. So I saw Halise and I saw Aaliyah. So glad that I saw y'all. Oh, and I saw Tanisha out there. Um, I don't know if y'all seen my past video a while back where me and Tanisha was on a belt line interviewing folks. That was pretty cool. So I saw her out there. Um, so yeah, it was a great time. Um, but yeah, I'm about to take a shower and then go to sleep. Thanks y'all. Thank y'all for watching and I'll catch y'all on this video. Peace.